Hey guys, Willie Mayette, creator of Jazz Edge. Welcome to episode 15 of Jazz Piano Daily. Today we're talking about how to make richer jazz piano seventh chords like this. So I'm going to show you how to create these chords. All right, so let's get started with this. Uh, we go over here, load up the music. You'll see uh, in uh, yesterday's episode and the day before, we talked about dominant chords. We also talked about minor chords. So today, obviously, we're talking about major chords. And same rules kind of apply as what we did uh, yesterday and the day before. So remember, to make the minor chord, we started with the minor chord and we moved up. To make the dominant chord, we kind of uh, moved up and then changed the note, right? Went to the flatted seventh and then changed the note. So if you want information on those rootless chords, just go ahead back to those previous lessons. All right, so here, we're going to create a major, uh, rootless major seventh chord. So we start by just with our basic C major seventh block chord. So that's C, E, G, and B natural. And one easy way of, of creating your rootless major seventh chord is just take your thumb, put it on the E, and then move up, and then the pinky goes up on D. All right, so that's all that's going on there. Pinky is just moving right on up and gonna hit the D up top. Another way of looking at it, the guide tone method, start with your third and your seventh, put one note in between, that's your fifth, one note above, that's going to be your ninth, okay? Some people wanna say two for that. We say nine because it is a tension and it is going to, and it's being added into the chord, so it's not replacing a chord tone. Typically when you see things like C2 chord, right, those types of chords, this is where like the second is replacing the third, right? So we're not doing that, we're not replacing. So that means that the third is in the chord, the E, along with the ninth, okay? And the root would be played down here by the bass player, or maybe by you as well. Okay, so that's the second way in which you could create it. The third way, which is probably the easiest way, is whatever major seventh chord you're trying to create your jazz major seventh chord for, just go up to the third of the chord, okay, so it's E in this case, and create a minor seven block chord right there. So notice that this is an E minor seven block chord, and if I put C underneath it, it gives me my nice C major seventh with the ninth up top, okay? So let's do this. I wanna go through and I wanna show you all 12 rootless major seventh chords. Okay, so C major seventh, then F major seventh, B flat major seventh, E flat major seventh, A flat major seventh, D flat major seventh, F sharp major seventh, B major seventh, E major seventh, A major seventh, D major seventh, G major seventh. Now, Sometimes it gets a little bit confusing because students might think, well, wait a second, aren't you supposed to be playing those chords that you were just doing in the right hand in your left hand? Yeah, you could do both, okay? So when I was playing kind of more solo piano, let's talk about that progression I did in the very beginning, right? So this is a C major seventh chord. Looks like a lot of notes, but let's break it up. In fact, let me just do this. I'll break up the, the hands so you really see a, a difference between the hands. So left hand, what am I doing? Root, fifth, root. I could even take the fifth out and just play octaves there. The right hand, well, what is that right hand? That right hand is this, right? It's my C major seventh rootless chord voicing. I'm just playing them close together like that, right? And then I went up to E flat major seventh, again, root five root in the left hand, and then my E flat major seventh uh, uh, jazz chord voicing right here. The next one I went up to was A flat, which is this. And then while we're at it, I might as well circle the D flat as well. And then I went back to C. This is what we would call a one, flat three, flat six, flat two progression. Okay, so that's one, flat three, one, flat three, flat six, flat two progression. Now, I'm not gonna get into that too much because that gets into a lot more theory. I do cover all of that stuff on the Jazz Edge site. But basically what's going on is those are borrowed chords. Like, you know we've talked about our diatonic chords, right? right? And you'll notice that E flat, A flat, and D flat are not part of our diatonic chords. So if you're interested in that, those are borrowed chords from other modes. Like this is from your 
minor, uh, Phrygian right here on D flat. So from natural minor for the E flat and the A flat. Anyway, you don't have to know that. The main thing to practice right now is go through all 12 of these major seventh chords. Now let me show you something else you could do. You put out a beat, right? And you just move in between these different chords, not even have to do it in order. Let me go to F. E flat. F sharp. So you see how I can play these chords. I just took four chords randomly and created a progression out of it. Sounds like a tune. I could put a melody over that and call it a day, and now I, now I got myself a song. So, like I was saying, why am I playing these chords in the right hand? Well, sometimes I can play them in the right hand and play the root in the left hand. I can also play them in the left hand, right? So I can do them in the left hand, no problem, but I want to make sure that I have a root going on, right? So if I don't, if I'm not playing with a backing track or I'm not playing with a bass player or I'm not hitting the root myself, you might find that these chords kind of get lost and they no longer sound like a C major seven chord or whatever chord you're playing. So in that case, what you could do is what I call a root stomp, where you kind of like hit the root and then play the chord. So now let's say we took something like Misty, right? So the first chord is an E flat major seventh chord. What I could do is, and so you see how I played the root, and then I came up and I played that rootless chord voicing. So I'm hitting the root and then the rootless chord. But guess what? You know all three of those types of rootless chords that I just played on Misty. You know the major seventh, the minor seventh, and the dominant seventh. We just covered that in the last three days of Jazz Piano Daily. So one thing I would suggest that you do is practice really hard on getting down these 12. Now I, I went through all 12 majors, all 12 minors, and all 12 dominants. You have all of the sheet music for that. So if you want to grab the sheet music for it, just go ahead uh, right back to jazzpianodaily.com. You can also just uh, take a look at the card that just popped up in the top right there. All right. So Jazz Piano Daily, right? jazzpianodaily.com. Put in your name and email address there. You can get all of that sheet music absolutely free of charge. All right. And then please, if you like the videos, you like what I'm offering to you, you find it valuable, just do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 70,000 subscribers. You can help us get there. And of course, be sure to turn on ding a ling a ling ling, turn on that bell so that you know when I come out with new videos. These videos are all for you, absolutely free. So if you'd like to grab them, like to learn with me, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, like in the video. That would help out too. All right, so anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Check out jazzpianodaily.com for some more lessons, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next lesson.